we are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. One, two. Truth be told. And blacks and Truth Hispanics are told, family. Man. Truth be told. Truth be told. I just pray you see Christ when you see me. Truth be told. Truth be told. These men spoke wisdom because they understood the scriptures. Reach. People are in that stronghold. And again, that's why our communities are in the shape of the end because of sin. Yeah, when we bring out Christ and black, people say color don't matter, but yet they ride into the movie theaters on elephants with kente claws right. because of a black superhero, but the color of Christ All don't matter. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, is for instruction in righteousness. That hidden ones because our people don't know that we're the Israelites according to the Bible. Shalom, fam. Welcome back to Truth Be Told, D.C. I'm Officer Matthew to my left. Captain Amaziah. Officer Phineas. Officer Mendel. And to my right. Officer Micah. So all praises. Today's show topic is the body snatch. But before we get in that, we got a couple of things to uh, discuss. Speaking of body snatches, we got video footage of somebody snatching some fish. But I don't know. That fish, we're going we gonna to let, let the congregation judge that. We got that video footage, man. Yeah, that fish, uh, that fish looked like it was doing the snatching. Hey, oh. We gonna see. That fish going down in my belly. That's what I know. <laughs> that fish going down smooth. No, that's right. Go ahead, roll that video footage though. Look at that! Look at that video quality. Look at that video quality. So the Esau look at was trying to distract the me. Struggle. Like that. Esau was helping. Esau trying to distract me. Yeah, see, that's IT. Yeah, come right. on. That's so Washington, D.C., Upper Marlboro, IT. Like, so <sighs> so at the end of the footage, the, early. The, the great fish took Cap in the water. We had to jump in and rescue him. That's what happened. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie, brother. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. <laughs> but uh, what else we have going on over there? We had a pretty busy weekend this no, weekend. No, we had a, we had a great time yeah. fishing on a fishing trip. Uh, a lot of, uh, about 15, 16 brothers came out. You know, I had a great time on the boat, about eight, nine hours, you know what I mean, Build, building that brotherhood, you know. So we had a great time, caught a bunch of mackerel, a bunch of bluefish, you know. So, yeah, it was a good time. It was a def definitely a good uh, weekend. 
Yep. We had the march. Yep. Before that, hey, we the had the march, march on the beast. Seven. The march was a beast. Hey, so, that march, you know what? It's kind of sad because I know in Baltimore there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of crime, there's a lot of uh, our people sit at the lower state. But the the march organizations or the parade organization was not that organized. organized. Well, it we wasn't literally supported. was the most organized and disciplined in the whole organization march. in the whole march. Everybody else was just like, you know, they were falling out. Some of them gave up halfway. We was like, bro, what is going on? It was on their bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Bicycles, yeah, folks. not motorcycles. Yeah, so but you know, I, I don't me personally, I don't mind that. Because all the focus is on the men of the Lord. Right. And that's Most. and that's that's what the impact was because, you know, um, we had an event yesterday, the AFRAM event, and um a sister came up. She's a journalist and she asked about she heard about us, the works <laughs> that we do specifically on uh Penn North. And then the march as well. So word gets around in Baltimore about the brothers in purple and gold out there doing the Lord's work. So, you know, that, that march, you could hear the brothers from blocks away coming down there marching. We had a booth set up. It was a, uh, we had a pretty nice, consistent flow yep. of people at the booth. So, but what, but what we see, though, is our people don't really support these type of events, though, that's put in the community. We don't come out and support one another. Yeah, and it's sad because all these so-called pan-Africans, uh, black power Egyptologists, but you have a, a black event in Baltimore, and y'all know where to be found. And it was Marcus Garvey at that. So y'all supposed to, y'all comedic Negroes and Egyptology fools claim y'all love Marcus Garvey yep. and all of that, and y'all repping red, black, and green. Yep. You niggas was nowhere to be found. Hey, hey, hey. They and, were selling bean pies and, out there. And, and the note, but the, actually the little bit of ones that was in there, they was asking us to assist them in carrying their banners. We like, no, sir. No, sir. We got the fish. All right, we put the video back up. We got, the, we got this for Cap. Part two. And this is the first fish I ever caught in my life. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look at uh, Esau trying to distract me. That, that fish is like trying to caught be, you, though, Cap. Esau trying to be, be my adversary. Look at that. I said, get the hell out the way, Esau. I'm trying to catch fish. Move. Yeah, you know, she reel his ass in. Reel, reel his ass in. Yeah, hey, by the way, this was shot with an Android camera. You see the quality of that, of that picture? Look at, the, look at the water over there. Look how blue my shirt is. Esau, get out my damn way. Okay, okay. Man of the field, baby. All right. Yeah, yeah, you did all right, Esau. You did all right. <laughs> hey, did we got that picture? Because I heard y'all went on a, uh, I heard y'all did a history tour, too, on the transatlantic slave trade, too. What are you talking about? We oh, y'all, oh, you, you missed roast that part of celebrity though? like that. No, nah, man, we no, can't we do, that. do that. No, we ain't going to do that. That's an inside joke. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't do my man like that. <laughs> you talking about last year? No. Now no, the picture that uh, Officer Mendel took uh, no. where the brother was stowed away on the ship. Of our boy sleeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the stowaway. Oh, the stowaway. The reader, the reader. Yeah, the reader. The reader. The reader. The reader. Right. What was right. that movie with Omar Epps back in the days? He, he, he um, It was like a B movie, an HBO movie. And he was cast away from like Nigeria or something, and he snuck on a boat in the bottom of the, the ship to America. So we anyway, going, that's what you look like. That's what you look like. Right. Anyway. Man, we was gonna spill the beans on how Abuka got here to America. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought y'all, yeah. I thought y'all had. Man, that. spill the beans, man. <laughs> oh put, my man, put, put so this work on the board there. over there. I don't think he's gonna put his own picture. No, nah, he ain't gonna put. He ain't gonna put his own picture. So we. Hey, you know, Chewy, where the picture at, man? You have a little seen bit this. of history right here. The, the people want to know, my man. This is right, humble right, man. beginnings on his way on his way to America. No, on his way to Clubhouse. <laughs> it's him on his way to Clubhouse. Look at this man. Yeah, he's here. literally sleep though. He's sleeping. You're on a straight plank. Smiling though. He, he's smiling because there's no his brothers and sisters ain't, ain't on planks above him this time yeah. on this trip. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. All yeah. praises, all praise. You know, you know, moved on up. <laughs> <laughs> you done moved on up, brother. All praises, all praises. Yeah, but we had a real good time. All praises to Most High. You know, we were really busy. Uh, we had the, uh, we had the the parade. Then we had two camps set up, plus a booth set up. Shout out to IUIC Philly. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Officer Laquat Matar. 
Officer Jez yeah. and all the men that they brought down from uh, IYC mm-hmm. Philly, or praise to the Most High. I believe um, uh, Captain Joel had something to do with that too. So shout out to him too, and of course Deacon Aiton. Yep, all praises to the most. And high. brothers came, came through strong, man. Came through strong came and supported, support it, man. Support the mission. Went to war with the brothers. It was a successful camp. Yeah, and it was simultaneously. So yep. we had a booth set up yep. while the march was going on, mm-hmm. and while two camps was going on all at the same time in, and, in uh, Baltimore. And you know, Cap, they, uh, Officer Nick was telling me, and Officer Kalia was telling me that as soon as we passed that camp spot, the whole camp had got flooded with people. So by them, by the neighborhood seeing us come through, all of a sudden a lot of them start going over asking questions. All praises. So that was all good. Praises, all praises, all praises. So yeah. hey, listen, I, I don't know if if y'all from these uh, Baltimore, there ain't nothing left but to repent. You really ain't got you really desolate out there. So there's nothing left out there for y'all to re- but to repent. And I'm. Pfft. Listen, if there's one city that, that needs, they ain't got nothing, it's Baltimore. Come they on, need to Cap. repent. Yeah, our people at a low state. Low state. Low right, state. they had a low, come on, Cap. Listen, I went live, and the people saw it. There ain't nothing yeah, out there. Yeah. Man, we love Baltimore, man. That's why we're in the city. You know, man, we love y'all, man. So, you know. And people we, repent. We love Baltimore. People repenting out there, man. The they see the words. The smells. Woo, woo. Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it's rough Listen out the there. Smells. That's a mm. mean city, man. That's a mean city. That's a mean city. That's a mean city. So, yeah, hey, hey, y'all brothers and sisters, y'all repent, man. Mm-hmm. Get your minds right. Yeah, it's going to be hard when they, when they, uh, cozy and brothers and sisters, how to properly take fencing on, though. Remember, they remember yeah, the signage? Yeah, they got a safe vaccination. Yeah. Well, yeah. um, no, had, what do they call it? They not had a vaccination. Picture. It was rules and regulations safe of how injection. to, yeah, how how to, to take how to fentanyl. Take, yep, how to take fentanyl. That's because they're not prosecuting uh, small uh, drug possession and small crimes. They and they're giving the citizens Narcan, so now you got to jumpstart the junkies now. Damn. So, Damn. yeah, they giving out. So if you come through, if you go by the police station or the whistle, they'll give you Narcan and say, hey, if you see somebody out, they'll teach you how to uh, resuscitate or... Keep somebody from, you know, slipping all the way. Because they're not responding. Because yeah. they're not responding yeah. to that no more. They, they didn't got defunded, so they don't even have police hardly yeah. out there. So well, the they, police can't even police, though. We we deal with the police officers up there. and uh, Yeah, man, that thing crazy, man. They That's just a setup to destroy our people. That's just what it is, basically. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So what we got, y'all? What we got? What we, where we going? We got a lot going on. Yeah, we got we people did. dropping out of airplanes. Yeah, I was going to say uh, Afghanistan. Uh, Joe y'all, Biden. Y'all want to talk about Afghanistan real quick? Yeah, well, yes, I, I, I want their supporters. I want one of his 80 million voters to call in. Oh, yeah. Uh, we put the challenge, well, the request out for a couple weeks now. Mm-hmm. All the black Democrats that voted for Joe Biden in Maryland, Baltimore, D.C., wherever you at, the sound of our voices, we want to know... What has Jim Crow Joe done for black people? We still waiting. He just did something for the Afghan people. He 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 just saved a whole bunch of Afghan people. Not, not judging by the footage I seen. Yeah, but they was on the plane. Oh, okay. They was in the plane. I too. thought there was not, Americans on the not plane. Just hanging. No, no, nah, no, those Afghans. They, they crowded that thing. Okay, so call in. The number is what four four three six zero nine. Wait, wait, it's coming 2506, something like yep, that? It's yep. 2506. We want, we want to hear from you black. Which camera am I looking at? This one. Yep. We want to hear from you black Democrats. We want yep. to know what Jim Crow Joe, your Lord and Savior, Damn. has done for you. Yep. What has he done we for the black Paul community? In. Defend your Lord and Savior, Jim Crow Joe. Because remember, y'all ain't black if you ain't vote for him. He had 80 million supporters, so you would think somebody would call in. Yeah, he's got uh, somebody got to be listening to the show. Call in. We want to know because we, we don't see it. So we, nope. we want you who right. love Jim Crow Joe. Educate us, please. Who prayed to Jim Crow Joe, <clears throat> your Lord and Savior, to tell us what he's done. Now, where we going, um, Ibuka? Yeah, pull that thing Run that footage, uh, Twitter footage, uh. People yes, Deadly Voyage point. in 1996. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. It was Omar S. movie in 1996, Deadly Voyage. Damn, you said it was an HBO B movie? Yeah. Oh, damn. That's, that's the, that's so, the shout-out so for Fireball Abuka. Fireball 84, you in the spirit, bro. <laughs> that's the shout-out for Abuka. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. Deadly Voyage. I remember that movie. Hey, so what? what's the first topic we're going to talk about today? We got the Afghanistan. Afghanistan. We, we want to see Afghanistan. The Afghan yeah, animals. And the, go to Ishmael. Right, and the phones is waiting. The wild man. Yeah, it's one, it's one that's showing the, the one that's all over the news. Then there's another one that's on, the, on there that's a close-up. Then the guys that was actually on the wing went live. Yeah, and they, he was flapping. Up, it was nah, record- no, hey. not that one, Cap. No, his legs was, the other guy's legs was flapping <laughs> nah. around. Yeah, that's, Yo, when, that's it, when they was in the air. It looked like something out of like World War Z when they was running. Like the, the, Wait, so bro, he really what went, is going on? Video? What's up? He really went li- live on the wing? Yeah, dude, yeah, flapping one, like a one flag of the brothers, on the side of the plane. One of the dudes went live when he was on the side of the plane before it took off. He, was, he wasn't going live once it took yeah, off. Let's go, let's no. play that. Yeah, let's play that. It all got shut down then. So, okay, this is from the ground. This is from the ground. This is when they this is C-17. This is when they went airborne. Aircraft. This, is a, this is a huge, huge plane. That, that's when they went airborne. That's when they... they that's they, a Jim Crow joke. Did the black people just threw them off the plane. They decided... They looked. They they was like this. The Taliban is so bad. I would risk dying is, is from falling from the plane. Did the video not play right or something? What's going on? Deal with them. Let's try that again. It froze up. Nah, that was, nah, that was the clip. That that's, that's a real clip. short that's two clip. bodies that fall off. But of it's that hard plane. to see though. It is hard to see, but they, yeah. we're gonna run it back again. It's another angle. Yeah, we got another. Pull that thing up, man. Yeah, y'all see how big that thing is. I think this is when my boy, when my boy is riding on the side. This is called a C-17. Yeah, they are riding on the side. The, the and one of, the, one of them went live when he showed his point of view. <laughs> they suck at cameras, though. Damn. Yeah, there's another one, bro. There's a lot of those we put up in there, That man. thing crazy. That, I, that I, one that we played earlier, can we play that one more time? Or was, or was that... There's another one where it shows the people p- uh, falling off the off the plane. That yeah, was that it, was but that. it's hard to see. It. They circle it. They circle oh, it. Oh, they circle it. Yeah. yeah. Now nah, we got some more footage, but that thing is crazy. So, Cap, you, I know, uh, that, were you you over there, right? Or, yes, yeah. so I was in. I was in. They're in Kabul, which is north. I was in Kandahar, which is south, South Afghanistan. So the so Joe Biden just packed up and just left. Yes. And Joe the Taliban said to hell took with over. y'all. To hell with you. This dude, man, is a complete failure. It's, it's crazy, man. I've never seen... I don't I don't know if there's ever been somebody, a leader of this country has ever been worse. This dude falls up the steps. He totally... He just... Everything he's doing is... He's bringing Christ in so fast, man. He, yep. he can literally crazy. be here next week. And when I seen them, because it was Americans in there running. I got to thinking about this scripture right here. Get that Isaiah 13 and 14. Because I was just thinking, I'm like, damn, they was out there running, you know, talking about women's rights is ended and all that. Because they not going for that foolishness over there. They not dealing with no nope. loud mouth Afghan women. That is a wrap over and, there. And they in pants that's, over that's, there, that's too. Gone. Oh, that's gone. Yeah. And if the loud mouth Afghan woman around, her, her head going to be gone. Read that, though. This is what I was thinking about when I seen them running at the airport. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 14. Mm-hmm. And it shall be as the chase rope. That's what we seen. Chase them up out of there, man. No, keep on. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. Right. That's what we're seeing right now. These other nations is looking at like, yo, America can't even. They pulling out of Afghanistan. The president falling up the steps. Come on. They shall every man turn to his own people uh-huh. and flee every one into his own land. That's why you seen what's going on. Taliban said, look, man, we taking our stuff back, man. This dude is a chase row all over the earth. And you know what? That's And that's why, remember... That's why they just recently put out uh, an alert saying they're expecting that terrorist activity will increase. Well, they bringing 100,000 plus of them over here, and they supposedly going to stuff all of them down there in Texas and some Say more stuff. Say that again. They did what? So they, the, them Afghan refugees, they plan on housing them down there in Texas and Arizona and all that. Okay. So, so watch. You, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no. You go ahead, Kevin. All right. Watch this. So Jim Crow Joe. Uh, it's been reported in the news also. He took out a out of the emergency federal government fund five hundred million dollars to house mm-hmm. all these refugee Afghans now here that, that's coming here to America. Okay. Hold on, did they vote? 
No, they didn't vote. Okay. No. No. But you black saved. Uh... Yeah, you niggas ain't got nothing. <laughs> and Afghan refugees got five hundred million dollars in free housing Woo. from Jim Crow Joe. And Negroes they getting tossed out their damn houses. So now watch this. Jeremiah 51 and 12. I want to show y'all something. This is how the Lord is setting things up. Lovely. Because guess what, brothers and sisters? The prophecy has to fulfill. Yeah, that's right. It has to fulfill. Some got, somebody got to do it. <laughs> Before you get that, give me Proverbs 21 and 1. Hold that. Give me Proverbs 21 and 1. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. Jim Crow, we're talking about Jim Crow Joe now, what he just did. He, he, he got the troops out of Afghanistan for good. He said, we ain't going back. The Afghans, y'all had 20 years to get y'all ish together, to defend your own country. You got an Air Force, you got military, you got uh, uh, this, you that. And guess what? As soon as we leave, you fall. That's on you. Right. And he so, said, we're going to bring all of them here, though. So now watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Y'all see that? The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. The heart of the king or the president, Jim Crow Joe, is in the heart of the, is in the mind of God. You understand? He does what? Keep going. As the rivers of water, uh -huh. he turneth it. With soever he will. Ah, you see that? So the prophecy has to fulfill. Now, give me what I asked for. Jeremiah 51 and 12. We're going to read all the way to 14. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 12. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. The standard is the scriptures. We set up that standard. You understand? We, the standard is the word of the Lord. Go ahead. Make the watch strong. We watching. Go ahead. Set up the watchmen. Read. Prepare the ambushes. Prepare the ambushes. Okay, go ahead. For the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Now, this sounds like it's talking about ancient Babylon. But let's keep reading. Go ahead. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. <laughs> Babylon didn't dwell on, Babylon dwelled on some waters. Not on all the waters. Like America dwells on all the waters when you read Revelation 17. Okay, go ahead. Abundant in treasures. That's America. Thine end is come. Hey, listen. Like I just said, we got no other choice but to repent. Get our minds right and wait for the kingdom to come because this kingdom is done. It's finished. You can't even tell a man he's a man if he feels like he's a woman without you risking losing your damn job around here. You're going to be a terrorist soon. Read. And the measure of thy covetousness. And this is a covetous place. They steal everything like it says in Obadiah. They leave no grapes for nobody. They hey. want everything. And hey, you know, hey, help, hey, Cap, you know, they just put up an article where they said they found a comet that's covered with gold. They planning on going into damn space. They said we got to get the gold that's in space, too, on an asteroid. They're going to risk life and limb and everything. Go ahead. Keep reading. The Lord so now, of here's the point. The Lord of Remember, hosts. Hold on. Remember what uh, um, Matthew said. They're bringing all these refugees over. They love America. Okay, let's find out. Go ahead. The Lord of hosts hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. So what is the characteristics of a caterpillar on a tree? Goes into the tree and eats the tree from the inside out. Same thing with America. What are we reading about? Sleeper cells. This is how America's gonna go down. You understand? Sleeper cells. And guess what? Eventually they're gonna be activated. They're going to awake, like it says in Habakkuk chapter two. They gotta awake and fulfill the prophecy. So just like just like that, Jim Crow Joe is doing what the Lord wants him to do. You understand? You dummies voted him in anyway. So now he's got to do what the Lord told him to do. Read it again in 14. Verse 14. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men. I'm going to fill you with all these refugees from all over. Come, let's all be one nation under America. Even though you kill, you use drones to bomb my, my cousins and my uncles at the weddings and stuff. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to take the free trip to America, open a gas station, 
and act like it's all good. Okay? You're going to put me in the ghettos and, and the black people going to give me their money. It's all good. But you my real enemy. That's what Ishmael thinking. Go ahead. Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. Uh-huh. And they shall lift up a shout against and they're thee. Gonna, they're going to wound you. They're going to wound Babylon. All praises for that thing there. No, no, no. Hey, 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 I want to get one. I want to get another one, another script just to back up what Cap's saying because a lot of the nations, get Isaiah 14 and read verse 10. A lot of the other nations, they looking at this whole thing. And they like, wait a minute, this is just a, this is a failure. This is a failure for the U.S. Oh, yeah. Read that real quick. Oh, the, I'm sorry. Y'all, 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 Lord and Savior before um, Jim Crow Joe, which came out uh, this one? Before Jim Crow Joe, Barry. your Lord and Savior Barry Obama, whatever his name is, he, yeah, he turned off his Instagram because everybody was getting on his ass. Oh, he turned off his Instagram. He turned off his Instagram. What, what did he, he do that for? He, 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 like he didn't want party. that smoke. Yep. He yep. didn't want that smoke that everybody was bringing to him. He turned off his Instagram, uh, blocked his comments. What, hold on. Was that because he, I heard he threw like some big shindig, like oh, 2,000 yeah, people at no his mask. mansion or something? Yeah, yep. with that too, yeah. Okay. No hey, mask. Read that off, Michael. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 10. All they shall speak and say unto thee. All these other nations shall they'll speak and say unto thee, read. Art thou also become weak as we? Has Babylon the Great, the United States of America, the most powerful nation in the earth, has become as weak as us? And remember, when they pulled out of Afghan, guess what they left? Military weaponry. Yep. So now these guerrilla soldiers are now a more powerful military. Guess who they're going to join? Iran. I'm going to tell you what's so sad. For the Afghan uh, troops that were training under America. How the hell y'all fall so damn quick? Y'all some punks, man. They ain't fall. Y'all had an Air Force. Y'all had all kinds of military training, and y'all fall that quick? That means you're in cahoots with them. Hey, look, they said, look, now now there's the great Satan is left. We going to join back with our brother with all this high-speed training cousins. and all this equipment you gave him. That's all that was. Right. Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Uh -oh. yep. You see that? Now they like, hey, now we've risen up in power. We've become more powerful. Now they are, because now remember, China's now sitting down with them and recognizing them as, as the governor Russia. power because now they have become a threat in the Middle East. And not only that, remember, we saw that article where it said they have the highest uh, lithium, lithium. The lithium in the country now. They got the lithium. So they control that thing. They're locking it down. Hey. Right, right. And the president of Afghanistan ran out of the country with like a whole bunch of money and, and had to leave some behind because he didn't have no more space for the rest. That's that's what that's reported in the U.S. So he like just Bill did what Trump. Joe Biden did. That's all that was. Damn, damn, damn. Jim Crow Joe. Hey, what we yeah. got next? So, what we got next? Biden and this Afghanistan thing is just fulfilling prophecy. So, brothers and sisters... Get your minds right. Stop the damn twerking. Stop the smoking, the drinking, and all that nonsense. Get your mind right and repent. Yeah, you got to see this death thing. waiting for your ass. Right. You got to see this thing coming to an end because the, the news cycle just literally gets crazy and crazy every day. We got some more stuff. What else we got up here? We got uh, our brothers down and brothers and sisters in Haiti, man. A terrible earthquake that yeah, they had happened this weekend. We got a, a video on that real quick. Yeah, y'all y'all better y'all better pray Haiti repent. Yep, from that witchcraft. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, a yeah. Mm -hmm. Now a hurricane. Y'all got the video? The Haiti the, the earthquake video, so uh earthquake video. And uh, I believe they have a hurricane coming through there as well, man. So you know, just pray for the brothers and sisters down there. Hey, was it posted at 645? So, you know, we got to keep our brothers and sisters prayed up down there. I know when the last earthquake hit, the school was fine from the report we got. Yeah, yeah. All, praise all praise to the most high. All praises for that, yes. They're keeping the laws. The, the uh, school in Haiti is fine. The Lord protected the, the righteous, man. You know, so all praises for that. You got it, 645? Put it at the, put it at the bottom. Put it at the bottom. 
But that thing, man, this thing is crazy. We yeah, got it's the last. This is the last video. Y'all got it. It's the last video. Hey man, he 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 about he back sleep. He back sleep on the Amistad. Yeah, he he think he, on, he, he, he think you on the Amistad. Hey, Shit. the crazy <laughs> part me, me. is when the water was splashing on my brother. He kept on waking up, like, oh, what's that? What's going on? <laughs> Give us us free. <laughs> Give us free free. <laughs> Say the hey, but yeah, this is real talk right here. Earthquake has risen to almost 1,300. Hospitals are struggling to cope with thousands of injured. Rescue teams are racing to find more survivors before a tropical storm is due to make landfall. A tireless effort to find survivors. For one girl, help came too late. But her mother was pulled out alive. Early Saturday morning, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck off the coast of Haiti's southwestern peninsula. Many homes, hotels and churches were destroyed. A desperate search for family members or neighbors began. Hospitals have been damaged and are overstretched. Doctors are trying to treat the injured despite a shortage of medical supplies. The situation is very serious. We are trying to mobilize the few resources we have and get them to those in need. Hundreds are still missing as international help is arriving and the death toll continues to rise. Prime Minister Ariel Henry has declared a one-month state of emergency. All aid is being coordinated by the emergency authorities. We are going through a difficult time, a time where we all have to stand together. Many people are leaving the area, fearing more strong aftershocks. Those staying behind are putting up makeshift tents but there are now warnings that Tropical Storm Grace will reach the island in the coming hours. So they said that they got a, a tropical storm on the way too. I don't know if it hit already, but I got. Um, I want to get Matthews 24. And uh, let's, yeah, we, I want to start up. Let's start up a little bit. Uh, I think three, two. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse nah. two. Verse 3, you're right. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So these are disciples asking Christ, what's going to be the, how will we know when you're about to come? Jump down to verse 7. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. So we're seeing that. We're seeing a, a lot of hostility with the nations. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. Read. And there shall be famines. And the famine's starting to kick off. I just heard somebody uh, say that they had a, a turkey shortage now. So first you can't find Russell wings. can't get chicken. And, 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 yeah, you can't find chicken wings now. They got food short shortages going on in Europe. And then, remember, China just shut down one of their big harbors or ports over there. So that's going to affect uh, commerce. Trade. Yep. Trade and commerce. And, and you got to remember, Bishop, because I know a lot of people going back to sleep, but Bishop already put it out there that famines are coming. And when you read about famines in the Bible, that's not like two or three weeks. Those can last years. So you got to make sure you, you stock up. Read, read that. And there shall be famines read. and pestilences. So you got the corona and then you got the medicine. This is a whole nother pestilence. Read. And earthquakes. The earthquakes. That's what we just saw right there in, ha in Haiti. Read. In diverse places. As a matter of fact, they had an earthquake not too far from here. Uh, what, last week? Hey, it was I, in Maryland. I just saw an article. They had an earthquake in Afghanistan. As this whole thing was popping off, they had like a five-point-something earthquake. Reverse uh, eight. All Listen. these are the beginning of sorrow. So that's like you know that that's just the beginning. We just getting started. Damn. Hey. Uh, look at Micah chapter, uh, Malachi chapter two. So our people in Haiti, uh, if you could hear, you got to repent. You got to repent. Haiti's, Haiti's like, <laughs> let me, let me rephrase it. Baltimore 
is like uh, an American Haiti. It does look I've like a third world country. It does like oh, a Haiti. I've, I've been to Haiti. Damn. Yeah, I've been to Haiti. Haiti is Haiti will make you make you shed a tear. So sort of like Baltimore. It's, it's like it's like Baltimore. It's like it's like the same thing. Except Baltimore, they speak more with the American accent. The Haiti, Baltimore, kind of the same thing, man. But watch this. Give me verse eight. The book of Malachi. Because here's what we gotta remember: the Haitian, the Haitian people who are the tribe of Levi, they were they were in charge of the sacrifice, the atonement for our sins, uh, uh, bringing uh, 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 the right sacrifices, and they forsook that. Okay, so now watch what watch what happened to them. Go ahead. The book of Malachi, chapter two and verse eight. But ye are departed out of the way. See that the Lord set up the tribe of Levi to do the service of the Lord, man. That was your job, to do the service of God. Okay? Go ahead. You have caused many to stumble at the law. See that? That's what, that's what the tribe of Levi did. And guess what? They've been paying for it ever since. Think about it. No matter what tribe is going through all the hell, because we're all going through hell, but there's always a special kind of hell going on for Levi. No matter, no matter what's going on with all the other, the other tribes, Levi is always getting top, top-notch rebuke and they lost, for everything. They lost the president. Now they got the medicine in there, earthquakes, hurricane coming through. Desolate. Damn. Go ahead. Come on. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi. See that? You corrupted the covenant that you, that you made with the Lord. That your forefathers made with the Lord. Go ahead. Saith the Lord of hosts. Read. Therefore. So because of that. Have I also made you contemptible. Damn. And base. Damn. Before all the people. Holy crap. That's, that's a hard pill to swallow right there. So I've he, made you contemptible. I made you hated among all the other tribes. Out of all the other tribes, everybody hate yo behind. And base, you the lowest of the low. We all, all low. The tribes. We all low. But Levi, you, you a special kind of low. You mean lower than the black man in America? Yeah. Lower than the black man in Jamaica, yeah. That's what, God, that's what we just read. Go ahead, read it again. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people. Why? According as you have not kept my ways, uh -huh. but have been partial in the law. See that? So these are the kind of things. Th this is the heavy, heavy judgment that continues year after year with Levi. Year after year, it's always these, these, uh, uh, this particular, particular tribe and island going through hell. You was going to say something, officer. Like every year, every year is a hurricane. It's an earthquake. Like, literally, remember, they just had a natural disaster, and you had the Red Cross over there still in resources. Wyclef. Yep, and children. Hillary Clinton. Trying to snatch up their children Bill from the Clinton. people. And if it's not disasters, it's inflation. They stole, they food and their gas are like 10, 20x, 50x what it should be. Hey, I remember we did a radio show about that with Haiti um, a couple years back on Patriot Saints Radio about how Haiti, all the farmers, they had to uh, um, get rid of their rice because now they had to import the rice from America and raise all the, all, all the uh, um, price of rice to, to cause inflation in the country. That was from a good Democrat, Bill Clinton, his that, brother. You voted for Bill Clinton. You right there. Wasn't he the first you black president? You voted for yeah. Bill Clinton. That's the niggas. Was, I mean, that's the brothers was saying. He the, the first, he the first hey, black, black president. president. He got head in the office. That brother black. You Negroes voted for Bill Clinton because he spoke a little weed and got got a blowjob from a from a hooker, and he did something. That played the saxophone and went to the went to the rucker in Harlem. No, that was after. That was after. That was after. But still, y'all called him uh, the first black, all kinds of nonsense. And he oppressed your brothers. Then he gave him the crime voted, bill. Huh? He gave him the crime bill. D yeah. With Jim Crow Joe. Then you voted for Jim Crow Joe, who said, well, you know, if, if the Haitians just uh, rose above all the other nations of the Caribbean 300 feet and there was somebody, 
or they sunk 300 feet in the ground, we wouldn't really give a damn about Haiti. That's what your president said, your Lord and Savior, Bill, uh, uh, Joe Crow, Jim Crow Joe said. That's what he said. And these are the devils that you vote for. Black Democrat, where you at? We want, we want to talk to you. So you, you ain't calling. The phone ain't ringing. Hey, listen, what's the phone number? What's the phone number? 443-609-2506. We want to hear from you. Where you at? The phone ain't ringing yet. Right. Nah. Still haven't heard. Quiet. You can hear right. right. a rat Defend your massa. <clears throat> Why did you vote in a man that can't wipe his own butt? And he's supposed to lead you? Damn. Man, that's crazy. But we, but look, let's look at some of these race soldiers, though, out here, man. We got to get on this. The body snatchers, man. Get that in Deuteronomy, man. Because people think, you read, you read about the curses to a Negro on the street. They say, oh, man, that, that was a long time ago. Read that, man. Deuteronomy 28, man. The, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says what? Shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Mm -hmm. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You know, because especially one of them black Democrats said, man, that was back in slavery times. Let's go ahead and roll that, that video footage with the sister. Because y'all, people think the Bible is a joke. Negroes is out here playing games, out here slapping fives and skinning and grinning with all this madness going on in the world. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So look, what y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? The baby is not staying here. Look, let me tell you something. The baby does not have any drugs in the system. Does he? Does he? Does he? Hold on. Don't. Oh, one time. You're gonna hurt my baby. You let go. You're gonna hurt my baby. You let go. Don't do that. You let go. Hey, don't do that to me. Let go. Let go of me. Please. No, 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 no. You guys, I have my broke a law. You guys cannot do this to me. I know, but you guys are trying to take my baby. Please let go of me. Please I will cut the backpack if you don't let go of your arm. No, please. Let go of your arm. I'll cut it. Let, please, let go of me. She's got a bag. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So look, what y'all want to talk about? What y'all want to talk about? Man, we got another is, one. Is it another one? I, yeah. This yeah another. Put the other one up. Put the other one up. That's right there. We gonna read read that again real quick before we play that again. This thing is not a yeah, this thing ain't a game. They, they think we just reading the Bible and that this is a fairy tale book. Read that again for the people. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse thirty two. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You see that? You just saw that on the video. The sister was out there. Why are they taking this sister's child? And they're gonna demand the audacity. They said, "Give us the baby." You you see the pride on them like a mother just gonna hand over a child, Snatch man. That's the baby, right? A two year, two month, two day old baby. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You see that this sister had no might. He got twenty race soldiers lined up taking that sister's baby, man. That's why we say the Bible's a real book, man. This is a real book. So that's you want to say something, Cap? Yeah, go to the next one. They're not listening. There's no point. You don't feel nothing. This is what's on American Idol. You guys, I'm human. This is my baby. My baby is She said, I'm human. And you're taking my baby away from me. You're taking my baby away from me. You have no heart. This is so hey, wrong. Oh, Just give her a second. Can you give her a second? Don't make it seem like, like I'm crazy, not. okay? Yeah, we support. This is normal. You, this I is know you have children. Sarah. This is my baby. You may not have babies, but... I carried my baby for nine this months. Is, this is normal. You don't care. 
Yes, I do. Put the please. You don't care. Which would you like to put the You could have talked. No, I don't. I want my baby. You have to put the baby. My baby is healthy and happy. My baby is breastfeeding for me. Are you gonna? What are you gonna give my baby? Please put the baby in the car. All you had to do was call the attorney. We have all the paperwork. You guys have created oh, so much trauma. Oh, you find out you ain't so equal after all, huh? You just come outside and be like, hi guys, you're my friends. Have you're not this, my friends. Have you all put this much energy into a family that has no this criminal background? This is unnecessary. She you know how much I've done for this county? I have the key to this city. I have the key to this city and Sarasota. I've done nothing in but the top. <laughs> that don't mean crap. I did an anti-bullying program for put you guys. Put the damn baby here, in the car. Here. Here. See that? <laughs> Yeah. You thought you was somebody. That that's the curses. And and then you know what's you crazy. Yeah, yeah. The blanket. The blanket. They done kidnapped another child. Give me that now, Isaiah, cause she's sitting out there trying to reason with them damn demonic, them evil ass demons, man. They just sitting there just read Isaiah fifty eight. I so mean uh, what you said the cause was why why they was Because they didn't want to she didn't give a, a B twelve shot, so now the state gotta come in and take your baby because you refuse damn. their damn inoculations, man. Damn, what? when 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 Esau does that type of stuff all the time. Right. This is you ain't you ain't reason with these people. They sat and did listen and saw the sister crying. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter fifty eight and verse three. Uh huh. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Understand the white man is estranged from the womb. This dude, come on. They go astray as soon as they be born. Uh huh. Speaking lies. This baby is crying lies, man. Then he turns into an adult. He tells lies like, you niggas saved democracy. And then he brings over hundreds of thousands of Afghanis while you living in squalor. Come on. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Right. They get run nothing but game, tell lies to our people. Read. They are like the deaf adder. They are like a deaf poisonous snake. Come on. That stoppeth her ear. They not listen. They was not moved by that sister's tears. And it was women standing up there with the stone face as another woman was crying. Women. Come on. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. So they didn't care about how many keys you had to the city, man. How many political hands you know. How many times you voted for Joe Biden. They didn't give a damn. Come on. Charming never so wise. You ain't going to out charm. You're not going to charm them people, man. Their soul ain't right, man. And what has she done? Who who is she? She was on American Idol. She's an American Idol contestant. Does a lot in the community. I'm known okay. in the county and all that. All right. They said we don't give a all damn, right. man. All right. Uh, look at Nehemiah 9, 30, 36. Look at Nehemiah 9, <clears throat> excuse me, 9, 36. Remember, we ain't getting no phone calls today. What's going on? 443-609-2506. Okay, if you don't want to talk about Jim Crow Joe, and defend your Lord and Savior. You can still call in, all right? Six four four three six zero nine two five zero six. Call in. We want to hear from the people, man. Now, let's go. Watch this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Watch this. The book of Nehemiah, chapter nine and verse thirty six. Behold, we are servants this day. Okay. So, what's the lady's name? Whatever her name is, the sister that was on American Idol. She's finding out. Yes, you're a servant. We are all servants. We are one nation of people under another nation of people in the same land. That's what she's finding out right now. Go ahead. Behold, we are servants this day. And for the land that thou gave us unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in you see, it. Because this, this is really northern kingdom's land, y'all. This is not Esau's land. Because of the sins of our brothers and sisters from the northern kingdom, they, uh, um, Esau was allowed to come here and take this land. You understand? And colonize and enslave and murder and kill. Keep reading. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings. Oh, you see that? All your labors, all your American idols you want to work, uh, um, you want to sing for this and sing your little heart out, right? It's for, the, it's for the increase of the kings of this place. It's for your oppressor. Go ahead. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. <laughs> you see the problem here, brothers and sisters? These people are over us because of our sins. I'll do my own sound effects. Boom. Since the book ain't got none. Go ahead. 
Also, they have dominion over our bodies. Read it again. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. Read it again, uh, uh, Michael. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. Now, I know that's a hard pill to swallow, okay? Yeah. However, this is what God has said over us because of our sins, brothers and sisters. Yep. What happens they, to the freedoms? They have dominion over our, just like with this vaccine thing here. You understand? You bet if you if you got a job and yeah I got, I got it. if you got a job and you got they they demand that you take that vaccine or lose that job you got a decision to make we can't make that decision for you better pray for mercy from the Lord okay that you make the right decision all right because they have what read it again they have what because they have dominion over our bodies read it keep reading and over our cattle. At their pleasure. Did, when they want to make the rule. Damn. When they want to pass the policy. Hey, we're going to change up the policy here. We're going to say, you can't, if you don't got a vaccine, uh, a vaccination, you can't get on this flight. You can't leave the country. You can't go in a restaurant. You can't go to the barbershop. You can't go to the gym. You can't go nowhere unless you show your little vaccine card. At Damn. their pleasure. Read on. And we are in great distress. And yes, brothers and sisters, as you can see on the screen, we're in a lot of distress. Stress, I believe yeah. we got a phone call. Ain't a damn thing you Negroes can do. I thought you was free. I thought you was free here in, the, in Babylon. Hey, Great. Shalom Caller, you on the line with the Truth Be Told Prophets on Truth Be Told Radio Show. Shalom, most high Christ, blessed Captain of Zion and leadership and family. Um, I just wanted to make a comment. Um, has um, With the young lady that her ch uh, both her children um been taken away, um, it's just like slavery. They've been doing that since slavery, so... I really can't understand how anybody thinks that we are free because Esau, he, he can do anything to us. And now that they're trying to mandate the children to get vaccinations in school, it's going to be a, it's going to be a whole lot more um, people getting their children taken away because they're mandating everything, you know. It's just very crazy. Yes, yes, ma'am, absolutely. Yes, they've been doing it since slavery and before slavery, actually. You know, but yes, yeah. on this side of the you make one force move. Yes, you make one false move in this. I remember I had my daughter, when I had my daughter, because she had a fever, and um, I didn't raise my children on medicine and stuff because I'm into the natural herbs, but um, she told me she was going to call CPS and have my child removed, and um, I had to call another doctor. It's just that, just that quick. They have the power because, this, you know, they rule. But that's all I wanted to make a comment on. Thank you for your comment, sis. Thank you for your comment. Yeah. Shalom, most high Christ right. bless. Thank so, you. So it would behoove you to get your body right, if you don't have to take the vaccine, get your body right yeah. so you can withstand the evil, the pestilence that's on this earth right now. All right? Get your body. All you fat brothers, all you fat sisters, yeah, you fat sisters too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know, you, I know you get sensitive about your weight and all of this nonsense. If you're sensitive about your weight, do something about it. That's what you do. Do something about it because you're at risk. You're going to die. Yeah, you got a heart attack body. I'm gonna tell it straight. You got you at risk. You at high risk once you catch that COVID. Yeah, and, and the bishop put it out there though. You know what the scriptures say? Whatever's bound on earth is bound in heaven, man. The bishop put that thing out there, and they set the example. You know, uh, losing weight and everything like that. So we got to make sure that we, uh, in line with First Corinthians one and ten, we got to speak the same thing, man. Because the Lord not moving the bishop spirit just to speak and beat the air. Hey, you know what's you know what's crazy. I don't know if y'all have ever seen. I think I posted it to y'all a couple months ago. <clears throat> what a, an obese brother or sister's heart looks like. It's not red. It's not burgundy. That was a white. It was all. It was all white right, with right, fat. Right. The white was all the fat around the heart. So you catch that COVID and your respiratory system is all jacked up because your organs are cannot uh, uh, contract back and forth because it's filled with fat. So the fat is making it go like this. It can't contract. You are at risk, Negro. <laughs> you got to do something. You got to burn the fat. Go do some jumping jacks or something, some sit-ups, something. Jumping jacks, cardio, run around the, the park, something. But you are at risk. You catch that COVID. I believe we got another phone call. Okay. <clears throat> Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? My name is Veronica Mansell, and I'm calling because 
my people are taking this shot. I even found out today my daughter took the shot. And I, I keep telling, I told her time after time not to take this shot. Yes, And yes. It, they don't believe in this Bible. Right, right. Because that is our book. Right. And let me share something with you, sis. Everybody's not going to believe. You're the people closer to you, everybody's not going to believe. That, that's the sad, the sad truth of... Um, coming into the truth is that the people that know you best that love you the most they don't believe and some of our people that we love so much guess what sis i, I know it's i know it's hard to say but you're gonna have to leave some of them behind they're gonna make their own decisions some decisions mm. are gonna are gonna uh, uh impact their lives where they may lose their life you understand but that hurts it hurts but guess what what you gonna do you understand? Sometimes we gotta be I selfish. Ain't taking it. <laughs> I, I, but you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes we gotta be selfish. We gotta we gotta get ourselves right first and do what's best for us. And whoever don't wanna come with us, hey, it is what it is, sis. <laughs> it is what it is. Your mama, your 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 best friend, the people that uh your auntie that make the best apple pie at Thanksgiving, all of that crap. You understand? You're gonna have to leave them behind. Right. I'm telling you. And our people, like like you always pointed, you've been pointing out Cap since you've been here, because you're getting used to the flow of things. You're seeing the, the democratic mind, especially in this area, dealing with our people. And the reason why they don't want to hear us, let's get this, this scripture for the sister right here, though. So this is a very heavy scripture right here. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4 and verse 3. Right. This is going to back up what Cap said. But if our gospel be hid. If the gospel be hid. Because remember, the scripture said this gospel is going to be preached throughout the world for witness. So it's not really hid. Come on. It is hid to them that are lost. Why are they lost? In whom the God of this world. The white man to make it plain because he's the God of this world. That's why this world is topsy-turvy. Come on. Hath blinded the minds of them. Have did what? Hath blinded the minds of them. That's why they go vote every four years. You t go over a Negro house, he got CNN on, MSNBC. Blinded, right, right. man. Come on. And they Which, believe that strong delusion. Right, that strong delusion. Come on. Which believe not. Which what? Which believe not. Uh-huh. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Well, that's the, the life you live in who is the image of God, uh -huh. should shine unto them. Nah, they say, you know what? I like Joe Biden and this gross darkness, man. That's what our people hey, are saying. I'm going to show you something that's going to hurt. Give me Matthew 13. Mm. Sis, right here, I, I, thank you for your courses. I, I'm, I'm going to answer this offline. Matthew 13, I think it's verse 16. Nope. Verse 14. Watch this. Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, by hearing you shall hear. So by hearing, you're supposed to hear and understand. Read. And shall not understand. But you don't understand. You hear the word. You read it as plain English. But you don't understand that we the children of Israel, we got to repent. Go ahead. And seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. Okay, go ahead. For this people's heart is waxed gross. Your heart waxed gross. You into Democrats and Republicans. Mm. You into white Jesus. You into white man philosophy. Go ahead. And their ears are dull of hearing. They don't want to hear nothing from the prophets. Sort of like when Christ and the people and, and the disciples walked the earth. Guess what? Our people killed them. Yes, they did. Our people did that. They didn't want to hear it. Go ahead. And their eyes they have closed. Read. Lest at any time. Here's the point. Lest at any time. They should see with their eyes. Uh-huh. And hear with their ears. And understand. And should understand with their they heart. They should understand. But okay, yeah. You know what? That makes sense. I'm going to repent. You're right. We are the children of God. We went to slavery on ships, so forth and so on. Yokes are iron our necks. You know what? That's us. We got to repent. But let's see what he says. And should be converted. And you should be converted. And I should heal them. And I should heal them. So what is Christ really saying? I closed your eyes. I dumbed down your damn ears. In other words, you're not going to get it. 
Right. I, you may not be that spirit that the Lord chose to get it at this particular time. Right. Maybe He's in the future. The truth. And, and he said, now I should heal them. Meaning what? We sick as hell as a people, man. You know what's crazy, Cap? I had uh, talked to somebody about taking the medicine, not to take it. This was like months ago, probably about three or four months ago. I said, it ain't going to work, and they're going to tell you you're going to need another another shot. And now I think the president came out today saying, you know what? The medicine ain't no good. You need another one. So now they none ain't, of them want to talk about that. No, nah, they don't want to talk about that. But this is the thing, though. You got to think, it's only been a few months, maybe like five or six months since they took the shot. Now you got to take another one. So that means every six months, you got you to gotta go in again? Mm. Come on, man. You can't see this a scam? I believe we got another phone call. Ready? Hey, uh, uh, why y'all trying to get that together? No, All right. Shalom caller, what's your name, question, or comment? My name is Patricia Rozier, and um, it's good to see you again, Captain Amazon. Well, praise to the Most High, sis. And the officers. You know, um, Deacon Malachi got something for you for talking about them Haitians, don't you? Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 he going to get hey, you listen. when you go back to ATL. <laughs> Haiti better repent. That's what they he better, better do. <laughs> Haiti better repent. They get, <laughs> hey, our people getting jacked up, sis. Yeah, I know that is, but it's good to see you. Yes, yes, <laughs> And good to see y'all officer too. Y'all keep. Shalom, sis. Yeah, most of Appreciate you, sis. That was this, sis? Yeah, that's it. I just okay, want to get okay. at you about uh, Deacon Malachi because I know he's going to get you. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, ma'am. All yeah. praises. All praises, sis. Most high Christ right. bless you. All right, what we All got? Right. We got we got about. 12 we still minutes. got more hey, of them. Pull, oh. pull up that uh, article because we talk about body snatchers. Yeah. Pull up that GOP strategist because it's two parts to it. Yeah. GOP. It's kind of sad. You got this republic, and then you got a northern kingdom sister that was helping them do this. Groping thing. on people. That's the GOP stand for. Hell. It's the article. GOP strategist arrested. Yeah, right there. GOP strategist arrested on ten counts of child sex trafficking, conspiracy, and obstruction of justice. Scroll down, scroll down. Trump's man. You zoom in. A GOP strategist has been charged with 10 counts of sex trafficking, conspiracy, and obstruction of justice. The, the strategist, Anton La Lazaro, has appeared as a guest on Fox News, Fox Radio, and RT, among others. The, the DOJ... Zoom in, zoom in. So this, so this dude got connections. He got connections. The DOJ accused him of soliciting sex with six minors from May to December 2020. So, so now, you got to think about this, because you got to put two or two together. Look how many children... Go missing every day. And it's always Jake. And these children never show up. Nope. That's because sex trafficking of minors is big business amongst these wealthy elites. They've been doing this for years because it's another form of slave trade. Mm -hmm. They've been doing this for years. So now you got some of these high up elites. They're getting caught up with that sex trafficking. But, hey, get that uh, other article where, guess, look who was supporting them. Look who was supporting them. Own damn people. Hey, officer, and that's why uh, I'll read it. Can you zoom sure. in? Zoom in, zoom in. There we go. Police arrest teen accused of helping GOP strategists underage sex trafficking. Damn. See that? So she underage herself. The woman. Young girl. Damn. Northern Kingdom. Damn. Come on. So all of these kids that be going missing at the border, that they be, uh, uh, did they all of a sudden, because you got to think, Damn. why, what interest does the U.S. have in keeping kids in a, 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 a cage? What, why would you profit that? Now you're taking on, you're taking on, you got to feed them. Yep. You're taking on more responsibility. You got to put more money out for that thing. That's because a lot of them be going missing. And it'd be the government, the U.S. government supports that. Because remember, uh, what's her name? Cynthia McKinney, 
back, she was uh, questioning Rumsfeld when she was a, cr- a congresswoman about how they were allowing, what was it, the Rand Corporation? No, Dine Corp. It was Dine Corp to get con- uh, contracts, and they were caught bringing kids and uh, trafficking In Saudi kids. Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, yeah. So they actually get contracts to traffic the kids. This is the government. In Texas, they got them on the military bases in Texas. Law enforcement in Florida has arrested Gisela Castro Medina, a 19-year-old accused of helping a wealthy young Republican. You see that? Damn. Strategist in Minnesota prey on girls and recruit them for paid sex. So she's she's a minor herself, but she's pimping her own people. Yeah, bro. Hey. Yeah, that, Kim, that GOP dude got that ass, too. Yeah, he did. She faces the same criminal charges as her alleged pal. GOP operative Anton Lazaro, sex trafficking of a minor, attempt to commit sex trafficking and obstruction of justice. Can you do me a favor? Can y'all pull up that name, Anton? Liz, uh, look at not. I mean, search keep the, the article name. up, but somebody look it up on the side. Yeah, search his Anton name, Anton Lazaro. Both yeah, he may be Northern Kingdom too. He might be. Both you know, you know Northern Kingdom stick together. Both hail from Minnesota, but while the FBI arrested Lazaro in Minneapolis on Thursday morning, jail records show that law enforcement caught up with. Caught up with Castro Medina that same evening in the Florida panhandle. She was labeled a fugitive from justice and jailed overnight, according to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Department. The agency's website indicates that she was denied an opportunity to pay bond for release and was instead transferred out of their custody on Friday afternoon. A photo posted on Instagram shows Castro Medina and Lazaro together at an event in May. Each with a different partner at their side. Uh oh. She describes herself publicly online as a student living in St. Paul, Minnesota, who attends the Catholic University of St. Thomas. Good Catholic girl. Hallelujah. And works at a property management company. She is the chair of the university's chapter of Minnesota College Republicans, the group confirmed. A person who knows her personally confirmed to the Daily Beast that Castro Medina was traveling in Florida this week. Shortly after a phone call with the Daily Beast on Saturday, the Minnesota College Republicans put out a statement about the arrest. We as an organization are absolutely disgusted by the actions of Miss Medina and have cut all ties with her effective immediately. Where's the guy at? Ne- hey, y'all find the guy yet? Yeah, let's put him up. Hey, let's put, put him up. Picture. Is he Northern Kingdom? I got a feeling. Oh, no. No? No. Oh, it like is Esau. Esau. Okay, okay. It looked like Esau. So, so she at that Catholic school, and, and she found her white Jesus, and I'm going to help white Jesus get some sex. Her, uh, her hunk. Her hunk. Her Brad Pitt her right white here. hunk. Hey, look at the picture with the money right there in his face. What the, what's that? What? Oh, shit. Oh. Damn. Hey, but th- he, you got to think, he learned this from someone. In power. He just didn't just come think of this himself. No, it, it he was, learned this. It was it was a torch pa- uh they passed the torch to him. That's what that was. Exactly. Hey, pull up pull up that uh pull up that next article article about the same thing the uh, that officer Matt put up. The Haitian kids. Yeah, watch this. That we mentioned earlier. Because they think it's just you know how people hear that and like all oh, them damn Republicans. No. Y'all man Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton too. We got something. Watch this. Haiti twenty ten Clinton Association Associate. Caught, tried to remove 33 kidnapped children from Haiti. Why did the Clint- Why did the Clintons intervene to get the charges dropped? Let's go down to the fact. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, oh. Hold up, damn. Oh, let's go down to the facts. Facts. Damn. Number one, Laura Silsby claimed to be part director of a ministry called New Life's Children can, Refuge. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? Two. At the same time, she was an executive with Alert Sense, a FEMA contractor responsible for the nation's Amber Alert system 
to broadcast info Damn. about kidnapping. Inside Damn. man. Inside man. Come on. Fact number three. In 2010, after the big earthquake in Haiti, she went to the country to quote unquote save children. Yeah, she won't save my. Right. Fact number four. After attempting to leave the country with one batch of children, she was turned away at the country's border with the Dominican Republic for failing to have the authorization to transport the children out of the country. Fact number five. Silsby and nine other still unnamed people. The still unnamed people. Inside man. Re- returned and tried again this time with 33 children and were arrested and held by Haitian authorities. Fact number six, the children had no passports, birth certificates, or letters authorizing them to be separated from their families and were called orphans just by like Sildby. My, just like my Northern Kingdom brothers and sisters. It's the same game. Number seven, in fact, all children, all these children had families, and the families had been told they would be able to see the children later. Same formula. Fact number eight. Sildby stated written plans were to remove the children from the country and offer them up for adoption. The original goal was to remove 100 children. Fact number nine. Huma Adaden. Adaden. That was her. That was Hillary Clinton's right hand man. Hey, hey, hey. And where they going? Into the sex trafficking right. trade system, Epstein and all of that. That's, That's why that dude pedophile killed that dude off. and all that. That's why yeah. he, Bill Epstein Gates. donated Bill Gates millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation. The locals call that thing pedophile island, man. Every time there's a oh, natural yeah, disaster, it. they do that because I also heard that that same thing happened in New Orleans with the uh, when they had the flood down there. Right. They got a hold of some of the kids down there. It's the same thing. Damn, damn, damn. Hey, so brothers, sisters... Y'all better repent, cause y'all see the signs is the signs coming. All right, y'all better repent. The, the as uh, Officer Mandel read in Matthew twenty four, all the evils coming, nations against nations, earthquakes, famines, pestilence is coming. All right, uh, your brothers betraying brothers and so forth and so on. These things are happening, so we got to get our minds right and repent. What Somebody want to know the name of the article. Oh, that article. Go back. Post that article real quick. Somebody yeah. put it in the live chat. Just post it in the live chat. WG Publishing, uh, Haiti 2010 Clinton Association caught trying to remove 33 kidnapped children from Haiti. Right. Posted in October 31st, uh, 2019. Hey, just one more fact. Uh, Huma, she was married to An- Andrew Weimer, the when, dude Andrew that had the Weimer, uh, pedophile yeah. laptop. Right. That was Hillary Clinton's oh, assistant. Man. Last hey. name Wiener. Come on. Hey. Once again, this is who you this idiots who you voted, voted for. for. Yep. <laughs> you love Clinton the, uh, and uh, Hillary, Bill, Obama, Biden. Biden. But yep. they won't call in, though. Trust but you. But you're too much of a punk to call in. Yep. Yep. You're too much of a sucker. Trusting in, in. O, trusting in oppression that can't save you. You trust more in that, that, that BS bow tie you got on right now. And with Esau doing this on your head, the, the white Democrat do this on your head. Hey, you're dog. a good boy. <laughs> you're such a good boy, Democrat. Ah, black Democrat, urban guy. That's you. You voted for them? That's you right there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, you, what else y'all got? Hey, that's it. We about to shut down. Hey, we keep keep on appreciating the show. Keep on tuning in every Support Tuesday, six thirty. Also, donate to the show. Merchandise uh, coming soon. Yeah, uh, merchandise also, coming soon. Okay, also, hey, donate to iuic.dc at israelunite.org. Also, get ready to tune in to Shout Out Tuesday. That's, that's right, right. That's right. Get IUIC ready to tune events. in. That's right. Tune in. IUIC events. Bitch, gonna flame another pastor. That's right. As always. Black Democrats, we're looking for you next week. Maybe next week you get some balls. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, fam. With that, we say shalom. 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 Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.